calling it a challenge, but you know what? Hey, why not? I mean, it's, it's a great challenge, were, I think. If anyone can actually do this, it's probably him. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Oh, man. It's, I mean, uh, it's possible, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's saving uh, Joker and GSS for the end. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if he's already getting this far without using his quote unquote, like, you know, best characters, like, that's just. That's actually really good for him if he makes it to, like, the finals. Then he can actually go his very best characters at the end. Mm -hmm. But All right, we'll but see. right now, I'm in. I get past Vin first. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ven, Ven obviously just had a great set against Vixel that we just watched. And uh, it's really just kind of coming down to uh, can he find a way to put the pressure on Ven? Right now, man, he's just actually looking pretty decent. Yeah, this seems like the type of character he would be decent with. Like, his playstyle kind of lends itself to, you know, <laughs> fast, bait and punish, decent combo game. Those type of yeah. things are actually really good against Zelda in the first place, too. Yeah, so I wonder if he just, like, he just watched, like, what the projected bracket path was going to be and just, like, has planned out his character mm -hmm. beforehand. And, man, there we go. He, we saw him get to 89%. Ven did a good job getting him up to uh, 89 And from then, has not been hit since. Uh, and, like, Ven started, like, 45% after their last hit. So, uh, <laughs> Sharp definitely off to a bit of a tear here. Yeah, I really like the Greninja dash attack in this matchup when Zelda's trying to get set up with her, uh, her knight because you just break that zone really quick. But great up B out of shield. You always gotta be ready for that when you're fighting a, a good Zelda. Mm -hmm. you, you can't go too aggressive on their shield unsafely anyway, because that's always a factor as well. Right. But nice. He even has the projectile too. Like if he starts charging from far away, just you just shoot her. <laughs> shoot her with the water shuriken and the knight's gone. Right. Okay, gonna get the drag down right there. Definitely is doing a great job getting this pressure down, but there's that Nehru's love once again, man, just being so disruptive. Oh, double okay. dash attack. Oh, dropping shield on the Nehru's there. Oh, man. Okay, he's finding himself under a lot of pressure on the platforms. Nice. That Very good patience. Beautiful. Oh, great tech from Vin. I know he was looking for that drag down uh, up smash through the platform. Okay, but just gonna get it up there right there, put on some extra damage, get that pressure off stage. I don't know if they're, I don't know if, uh, what Zelda's hurt box is looking like when they're teleporting, but oh, they were going for the up smash. And I think up smash actually has a problem connecting properly on PS2, if I remember correctly. Right, right. Yeah, Greninja's always had problems using his up smash when he's under a platform. There's like a lot of times where people will just fall out for some reason. I'm kind of surprised they haven't fixed that yet. <laughs> it's like been a problem since Smash 4. But, yeah, Vin will take that with that forwarder out of shield. Has a decent lead right here as well. Mm -hmm. He's starting to change up the way he's approaching in mid-range too, so it's not as easy for Sharp to just rush him down with dash attack. Mm -hmm. oh. Spacing here is just too far for uh, Sharp to really get anything going. Vince is doing a good job being just, just out of range. So far, it's uh, it's looking like it's going to be a bit of trouble for Sharp here. Going to have to close out the stock very soon. Yeah, he's been having a lot of trouble getting the down tilt uh, to connect as well. But there's the forward throw. Especially if they catch you lacking on the DI, that's definitely going to kill at the ledge. But yeah, Vin. Oh, Ooh, wow. Uh, Knight will definitely kill you yeah, at the ledge for that's, sure. That's definitely the skill check right there. Not guaranteed at all, but... Zelda's fourth throw really fast, so you immediately have to react to the knight coming out like that, which is, yeah, good luck doing that, especially if you weren't expecting it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, good stuff for Vin. Just, like, you know, saving that kind of last stock play, you know, first surprise kill at the end. Yeah, but I, I think... I guess Greninja's off, off the table now, right? So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do think that in this situation specifically, yeah, it's, it's a skill check, but also I do like how Sharp was able to use Greninja in this specific first match, just because it's kind of like what Skiff said earlier. You have a very good rushdown character. If you use ZSS, if you use Joker, uh, I think, sorry, I think you said that's right. So like if you have ZSS, you have Joker in your in your pockets, right, then Greninja shouldn't be any difficult because it is a very good pressure and rushdown character that you can use to get Yo, inside. Sharp Smart is actually really good. Um... Oh, from yeah. when I last saw him play Marth. <laughs> so I'm actually really excited because I also play Marth. 
I, I want to see what he he does here. This this matchups can't like in advantage. You're you're golden. You'll get a lot of damage. You know you can uh, you can intercept the knight decently well, but you know when Zelda's set up, it's kind of difficult. Especially if you're committed to spacing with aerials with Marth, kind of similar to how you do with Lucina. Um, because your landing will get caught by the knight if you're uh, not faced properly. Mm -hmm. But let's see, let's see uh, what Sharp does. He definitely picked, you know, Marth here for a reason. Well, right now, doing a fantastic job. Uh, just applying his pressure. Uh, Ven still, you know, hanging in there. Got a 3% lead at the moment. And that knight actually is going to extend that lead just a little bit more. Oh! Big punish here, potentially? No, not too much. It's going to get him off stage. Yeah. He, yeah, if like he was a little bit faster, he could have, you know, gotten like a tipper maybe on the uh, the landing of the upbeat, but kind of hard to space. And I do like what, uh, oh, okay, that that's not going to kill quite yet, oh. but that will. Oh, man, what a call out. Yeah, who and, does um, that? Falling up there like that? Hit Ven. <laughs> 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 But okay, uh, down air right there from Sharp. And uh, something I wanted to point out earlier is uh, one thing I really like that Sharp's doing is um, he's taking his time. Uh, when that knight's getting charged, he's like, all right, cool, I'll just wait over here. Like, I, I got no reason to run in. And because I feel like a lot of players, when they're going against Zelda, they see that knight charged up. A lot of them get too obsessed with, how am I going to get past this? I've got to get past this. Mm -hmm. Right? Sharp's just taking his time. He's waiting it out and he's finding the right option. Yeah, especially with a character like Marth, you don't want to you don't really have a projectile so there's no reason to just run at zelda when she's doing that move unless you're for sure that you're gonna uh get a hit mm -hmm. yeah i like how vin's using the knight though right right now he's making it very hard for uh sharp to approach safely and get like a substantial hit that can you know take the stock uh, it's actually kind of what you point out there, but Ben's actually changed up the game plan a little bit here. They're not charging Knight quite as much. They're recognizing, I think, the amount of respect that Sharp is giving them right now. And, like, they're they're used, still using Knight, but, like, we saw a couple times there, they just sat there and then just ran in and just did a dash attack. Uh, so Ven's recognizing the tempo uh, difference in the game. Oh, beautiful Dolphin Slash. But, yeah, Ven's doing a very great job. Just really just dictating the pace here. Uh, Sharp's got to find a way to get around this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that really clipped him. <laughs> oh, I like that idea for Vin. Wow, I really like it because he got killed the up B. I, if it was any other Zelda, I would say that up B was a complete accident. But since it's Vin, <laughs> I'm going to say he definitely meant to do that. I think that's a very fair assessment. <laughs> Ven is just built different. And I know I know a lot of people say that, but Ven is actually built different. Yes, for sure. There's that up air striking through the ledge. He's also changing his up B timings as well to have the hitbox active. He's making it so that you... Like, normally Marth will really get to poke with down till and people recovering to the ledge. But the way Vin's using his hitboxes is actually really hard to pin him down. Mm -hmm. I guess that up air. Yep, he's going to see he held down that time. It's actually really hard to know where how he's going to go to the ledge most of the time. Great tech. All right. Just gonna okay teleport right up to uh, to the stage there. Kind of reset to neutral, kind of. No, oh, yeah, nobody's in a really uh, good spot at the moment. Oh wait, never mind. Wow. Great parry, but unfortunately, it's gonna get caught with the grab. Oh, I can't believe that was a setup. <laughs> I can't believe that was actually a, a setup there. That's so hard to avoid. Because some, <laughs> sometimes when the knight is out like that, you actually can't see Zelda. So she can actually like hide behind the hitbox of the knight and catch you by surprise. Yeah, like a like a little little ninja just hiding behind <laughs> the pick. That was actually insane. <laughs> like as soon as that happened, I my jaw just dropped. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very, very rough. I I like Mark. Like, Marth is clean, but, man, if you can't keep an advantage for a long time, it, it seems really hard to get in on Zelda. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not... I feel like Marth doesn't have any, like, immediate options that could just dive in, you know? Like, Fox... Fox, I think, has, no, a, has a, 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 this a very is a good... good pick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like, Fox could get it in there, and even, like, if he... Does, does uh, Shine work on Knight as long as Knight's not swinging his sword? Yeah, so if the Night Duck is active, like he actually rushes at Fox, you can just reflect it right back, and like mm -hmm. the, the slash animation will go back to Zelda. Okay. It's kind of risky though, 
Yeah. Honestly, if you're not good at timing it, because if you mess up, it's like a free approach. But here's Zelda. the thing, though, is like, is Fox can absolutely, uh, as soon as Fox can run in and, you know, try to find a couple hits and stuff like that, immediately he could actually just dash back out and just camp with lasers. I mean, Zelda can't necessarily answer all of them. Like, yeah, she does have Nehru's love, but it's not like she can just hold Nehru's love and just reflect all the lasers back. So, like, uh, th this just has a lot. I feel like Fox just has so many more options answering a character like Zelda in the Marvel. Yes, exactly. Just has much faster approach options. Um,. Greater damage output too, I would say, and it's gonna be much easier to get killed, especially if he's ready with the the narrow smash. There we go, using that shine just to cancel out that uh, Din's fire immediately. Oh, oh wow! You, all, you, gotta, you also gotta remember that Fox is very light and has a split of recovery, so uh, he's really all you careful in that sense as well. Mm -hmm. We almost actually just saw a kill from the fire fox off stage. That was wild. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of surprised Vin's not dead. Yeah, no less invincibility, but yeah, he always holds down. And like, that hitbox is super de deceptive. It looks like it shouldn't reach you that far, but it does. Oh, wow. Actually, that first wind almost just clipping barely to probably take the stock. But Sharp doing a good job trying to keep that space. And the back throw is going to yeah. close out that stock there. Oh, sitting about 120. But Vince is about 130, so, you know, Sharp could definitely close out the stock very soon. Yeah. Again, I just really like Vin's recoveries. Uh, he's doing re-grabs, but since that hitbox is so active, Fox can't get there with a down smash in time to actually mm -hmm. punish. Oh, and this is already really good percent. Fox is so light, and uh, Rage Zelda is very, very strong. So uh, Sharp can't really make any more mistakes on this stock, I feel, if he doesn't want to go down, you know, one to three. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Gonna close that out. Yeah, but 70%, that is kind of tough. Ven's been playing very consistently all night. Uh, just doing a really good job of setting up the night and just kind of getting any conversion out of that Din's Fire. Not going to be able to close that out. A second Din's Fire just somehow oh, going to clip. Yeah. Oh, and a fourth oh. trade. When, oh. Once you're that deep off stage uh, versus a character with the Spike as Fox, like, it's almost, you're almost guaranteed to die versus a good player. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. He doesn't get the lightning kick, but it's still... Uh, Vin's playing with a lot of confidence. Almost everything he wants to hit is hitting. That was almost insane. They almost got a down air spike into the up air. That would have been the grossest shit I've seen in a while. Yeah, very, very close. Yeah, yeah. Vin is... Oh, no drag down, unfortunately. But that's a pretty decent string. Let, let's see if he can get a hard punish here for this stock. He's not... If he can get this stock really soon, he won't be in a horrible, horrible spot. Because Fox's damage output is definitely insane. Yeah, but... it's just a matter of just playing safely. Oh, wow, beautiful oh. stuff. They're using the jab and did a down smash in the night just to, like, one tiny hit. Oh, my God, uh... what are you supposed to do there? <laughs> you honestly, since Knight also hits ledge, uh, it's actually really hard to avoid that if the Zelda is spaced um, in the right spot for forward smash.